We are, um, in Charlotte County government, responsible for 693 square miles. And to have only one incorporated city within that um, span of, of space is quite different. So we're unique in that way. I talk to people every day who come into my office and I ask them why they came here. And they say, almost to a person, because I wanted some place that was natural. I wanted some place where I could relax. Or I wanted some place where I could disconnect. We have a very well-protected uh, watershed. Uh, about a third of the county is under either uh, state protection or local protection. So you have a, a very high quality of, of water in the bay, great fishing opportunities, great boating opportunities, and, um, and the bay takes you through Boca Grande, which is world famous, is the best place to catch tarpon. I think it's a combination of factors that make Charlotte County so wonderful. We have a, a fantastic climate. Uh, Weather-wise, we're on the coast of southwest Florida. We're surrounded by beautiful water with some pristine beaches. We have a fantastic climate business-wise. Uh, we're very business-friendly, um, and the state as a whole is, is a very uh, affordable place to, to conduct your business in a, in a friendly environment. And uh, I think also that the, the folks that we have in our community here really make it a great place to live. I believe Charlotte County is a great place to live mainly because of its residents. Uh, the residents are very active, they're very engaged, they're very involved. Hurricane Charlie hit Charlotte County in August of 2004, and that was a um, Category 4 hurricane. And with it came along $3.2 billion worth of damages to the community. And so prior to that, in 2003, we were at a level where we were processing 1,700 building permits a month we were on a building boom. To have a hurricane hit, and then to also have to deal with the recovery of a hurricane after all of that, keeping in mind that we had depleted our reserves because of the hurricane. And so, when the Board of County Commissioners made those early difficult decisions, we really positioned ourselves to be in a much pl better place come 2014, and that's what we're finding now. We're in a much better place. Well, some people will call it St. Charlie uh, versus Hurricane Charlie because it did provide those opportunities. Even though there was a lot of pain in that process, um, the end result has been a, a, better, a better living environment, a better quality of life for everyone. But I think that's what gravitates people to this community. It is still a small community at heart, um, even though it's you know a growing community. We, we've seen some growth back in our population base. but. It's still rooted in that small town feel where you know your neighbor, um, you have a vested interest in the community, you understand the role you play and the social responsibility of looking out for the community and everyone else. And it's not only about the individuals, but it's also the role that they play for the greater good of the community. One of the things that we've been able to do is to expand our employment base to cover a variety of interests, similar to you, as you would to your investment portfolio. So Charlotte County has decided the best way to bounce back from the economic downturn is to work on two phases. One is the economic development side and the other is tourism expansion. On the economic development side, um, our department has specifically reached out to um, a number of companies. Cheney Brothers um, is a local, Florida local, homegrown distributor, food distributor, which is building, they're building out by the airport. Yeah, the Punta Gorda Interstate Airport Park is the area around the Punta Gorda Airport that's just east of I-75 between two interchanges on that interstate. It's uh, approximately 4,000 acres of land that is ready to be developed and is already zoned for industrial light manufacturing and business type uses, the types of uses and in, in industries which we're trying to attract to Charlotte County, whether it's manufacturing, distribution, aviation, aerospace, uh, food processing. Um, the airport area is the perfect place to do that. Charlotte County, Florida is a great place to live because we have um, numerous different environments which appeal to many different types of people. Um, first is the natural environment, which includes uh, Charlotte Harbor, which is the second largest estuary in Florida along with 28 miles of sandy Gulf Coast beaches. Um, and we hear from our residents time and time again that that's part of the reason why they stay. 
and then we hear from our visitors that that's part of the reason why they come back to Charlotte County. The future of Charlotte County really comes into a continued emphasis on quality of life. Um, that's the role that community service plays in the community. It's, it's an important component. Um, it ranks right up there um, with the core values and services that this community needs and requires. We do enjoy a, a, a low cost of living with a very high level of service to our residents and in order to keep um, that balance we need to expand our, our business community and our business tax base and, and we have a very effective plan to do so. If we continue to erode that natural product it has a, a devastating effect and it's certainly a devastating effect for Charlotte County. So in terms of what we do, our primary goal is to protect and preserve that product that makes tourism possible here. And so we find that we are one of the healthiest places because of just those activities. So all in all, it's just a great place.